Good morning, afternoon, everybody. My name is Mike at Filmboy24, and it's a little bit different looking in here right now. No, I didn't change my studio or move locations. I, I Well, I did move locations. I had to switch to my very brightly lit lime green dining room for this unboxing. We bought something new. I've had my eye on this for a long time, a long time, and I just never pulled the trigger on it until I just recently saw a review uh, my buddy Dave over at Noptop did. Uh, he did the review quite a while ago. I think he just reposted it. It's very quick. It's way unlike mine where I'm more long-winded. Uh, and he talked about this kit here in particular. I ordered one from his link. I will also leave a link in the description of this video if you're interested in picking one of these up. Anyway, let's unbox this. It just came in yesterday and I've been so excited to open it up, but I didn't want to unless I was in front of my peeps. So we're gonna tear it open. It's about, I don't know, 30 inches by maybe 20 inches by about four or five inches thick. Got my little box cutter here. We're gonna cut the side and we're gonna see exactly what this is. Now it's advertised as the, I know you've all heard the brand, that Neewer brand that's become quite popular over the last few years. It's a 660 bulb LED bicolor, which means 330 of the LEDs are cool and 330 are the warm LEDs and they alternate one row cool, one row warm. And it allows you to adjust anything in between, which is nice. It's a two light set and already it's got some good heft to it, as my dad would say, some heft. Uh, anytime an electronics got a little weight to it, you know you're in business. Um, there's box number one. Now this particular kit does not come with the bag that carries everything all at one in one in one bag. I didn't actually want that. To me, that's a little more cumbersome. Um, these are supposed to come with their own bag. Each one fits into its own bag. The light stands, well, it's easier to just kind of tuck your light stand in the trunk somewhere than try to put the big duffel bag with everything. That's what I thought anyway. So there's light stand number one. There's light stand number two. Ooh. And here is light number two. Let's get rid of this box. We'll put that right over there. Well, we have the LED NL660. There they are. Number one, number two. Let's open them up. See what we got here. Now they have a CRI or color rendering index, which is the sort of how well the light renders color. That's an easy way to put it. They have a color rendering index or CRI of a 96 plus. So it should be minimum 96. Now, according to what I researched, 90 and above are considered pretty excellent. So we're hoping for some decent lights here. I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot right here in this setting. I'm gonna open them up. And then I'll probably reconvene back in my normal little workspace, in my little uh, studio. And we'll, we're gonna test them out. We're gonna see just how well they perform. Because what I'm using right now is what I've used for years. I've made short films on these lights. They're my old Smith Victors. And they take the old school screw-in bulb. They're just the LED bulbs. They're the 100 watt equivalent. I have some, just some white foam, kind of, uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture, but kind of uh, like close pinned on to the edges of the, the bowls, just to filter the light a little bit, you know, give me a little softness. So let's get into one of these. Let's see how we get this open here. There we go, get a crack at it. Now I'll give you close-ups of this stuff. Don't know if it'll be right here, but I will get some close-ups for you. There we go. Ooh, and they got the bag right on top. Or oh, it's in the bag. Okay. So let's move the box. And there it is. It's bagged. Now, these are supposed to come with barn doors as well, this particular set. Because I want to be able to sort of move my light around a little bit if I want to. 
That's a nice case. That's that Cordura or that, uh, you know, like canvas. Cool little padded case right there. Look at that. Got a nice little grippy handle there, a little Velcro on top to undo the handle. And then you got your dual zippers. And let's get, get into it here. I'll let you guys see before I do. There it is. All I can see is the back of the case. There it is. Oh, it flipped out. Nice. Got a little pamphlet here. Mm -hmm. Some instructions. Can't imagine they're going to be that difficult to use. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, they got nice little weight to them. Really nice weight. Ooh, look at that. Now, you can use these NP batteries as well. I can't remember the, I think they're NP 330s that you can use right here in lieu of the AC adapters. So here's the light. There's the back, there's the back panel. I'll give you a close up of that back panel. And then here's the front with the barn doors attached. And these barn doors, they allow you to sort of kind of bend your light around and put it where you want it. Oh, that's cool. It's got a um, diffuser in there as well. Now this, I'm being on, this is the first time I've opened this. So I haven't really played with them, but it looks like you can take that diffuser out. So it's got this white, I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see it. This white diffuser panel right here that slides out just like that. And there's your 660 LEDs. I have my Canon M50, which is what I'm using to make this video. I have it on autofocus right now, and I don't usually use that in my videos. So if I'm kind of going in and out, my apologies. That's nice. So, and I think this uh, barn doors, they just unscrew. You can take the barn doors off. There's four little screws there. And then these barn doors, if you don't want to use them, they come right off. Now, I'm not sure how, how those buttons go back up. This can go back in, obviously, if you want your diffuser in there. And there's, there's, two, little, there's two little holders on the sides here, and i got to figure out how to get them to pop back out so that they, they kind of hold that in place. Very nice little heavy duty-ish light. And we fold that back up. We're gonna assume that the other one is exactly the same. And inside here, you have your power adapter, your AC power adapter that you just go right into the wall and then right into the back there. So the back panel has your power adapter outlet there it has battery this way, adapter this way, and in the middle, this little rocker switch in the middle is off. And then you have your dimmer switches up top. You have your yellow and white. And yellow and white, that's just the, the, the color of the light. Yellow is going to be more of your daylight or your 3200 degrees Kelvin. And white is more daylight. So you can dim each individually, turn them on or off individually with this switch here. In fact, let's go ahead, let's plug one in right now. Plug one into the other. I have a little outlet on the, right on the wall there. Let's plug it into the back. And then we're going to turn on, we're going to turn these down, all the way down, both of them. And basically I'm turning them counterclockwise, both switches, and I think that's going to be all the way off. We'll put it on adapter. And I got a little green light that came on on the bottom here. And then as I rotate these dials, hopefully, there it is. So this is the top dial, this is the yellow. And we get, I don't want to blast you with it, but that's bright. And then we turn the bottom one and you're adding the white light to it as well. And as we turn the top one counterclockwise to go back down, now you're full daylight on the bottom. So we turn it down, all the way down, and we got it off. So here it is. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell really the difference. I got auto white balance on. So there's your, your um, tungsten balanced or indoor lighting balance, the, the more yellow lighting. And here is your white lighting. Pretty cool. And then you can have any mixture in between. And there goes that. Pretty darn bright. 
I'm excited to see what they look like in a real-world application. Speaking of a real-world application, we're going to do that in just a second. I'm going to unplug these, and then we're going to put them back in the bag and see how easily they go right back in the bag. And the beauty of having LEDs is they just don't get hot at all. I think you put the tops down, then the sides. There it is. If I remember right, it just goes... It's face up, just like that. Barn door out. Perfect. And this is padded. And there's even a little compartment right here. You can put, I don't know, whatever you want. Maybe if you're, if you're putting your paperwork or you're not using the barn doors, it goes, there's a little, you got a little pocket right there. Nice. And then your adapter goes underneath. There's slots in the foam for your adapter. So before we take it in there, I forgot, we need to open a light stand. Let's open one of the stands real quick and see what that looks like. Let me move this out of the way. Now we got two stands, and I think they're just basic, kind of, you know, your run-of-the-mill cheapo light stands. Cut that right there. This is supposed to go to 75 inches. And there it is. Yep. That's it. You want to loosen your, you turn that little knob there, and this should spread open like so. Tighten it up. I know it's hard to see. I have the, I don't have the camera, but you can see the top there. Ooh, see the top. You gotta unscrew or pull this pin right here, and that should give you a three eighths, a uh, quarter twenty. Yep, a little quarter twenty thread right there, and your light should sit right on that. And according, when I was watching um, Dave's video, he made a comment about the barn doors kind of getting in the way, and they, I can see they're going to. So we'll tighten this down. Let me set this on the floor and we'll raise it up a little bit. So there we go. So if we have the barn doors open, yeah, see they do kind of get in the way if you want to tilt the light down. But to remedy that, you want to mount this. You can take this off. And it does make it look like a little forward heavy when you do this. You probably don't want to take that off all the way. We want to screw that back in. But you can mount it like this because there's a hole right through the front and there's a hole in the bottom. So if we mount it face down like this, so you're more like this. See that? But at least now in this position, you can still raise and lower your, your stand. See here? Put it where you want. You just got to be careful and realize that it is a little sort of forward heavy. So you may want to put one of your three legs kind of facing forward. But now, as you have your barn doors, it's not, you know, you're not interrupted by anything here. See there? And you're loosened and tightened here on the sides, which it's pretty tight right now. There we go. See there? You got a good range of motion there now. Tighten it up, good to go. All right, so let's let's uh, sort of uh, clean this up real quick and then I'll meet you back in my regularly scheduled spot. We're back. Uh, you saw me open up one of these. They, this is just the other one. I haven't opened it yet, but you know exactly what they look like. A couple things I didn't mention when I unbox them. Uh, they are all metal. I know I said they had some heft to them. They got some good weight to them. Well, that's because they're all metal except for the you know, the diffuser, the white diffuser in the middle there. Um, they're, they're constructed really, really well. Um, metal flags on the barn doors, metal housing, um, the metal U-bracket here that holds the, the um, barn doors in place. It's even got a metal stand. Yeah, the stand, like I said earlier, probably a little flimsy, and maybe it's not flimsy, but... The lights have some weight to them, so, you know, you just want to make sure when you get them extended all the way up, just kind of keep an eye on them and make sure they're on solid ground. I'm using a Canon M50. This is going somewhere, I promise you. 
and my settings right uh, and I mean right now to film this video and my settings are I shoot it at ISO 800 inside my little studio area here uh, f6.3 24 frames per second at 4k with a shutter speed of 1 50th of a second now I have eight lights that I use every time I film these videos I have one directly behind me going up I have a tiny LED panel right up there that comes down behind me to sort of you know separate from the background a little bit I have my Smith Victors that I talked about earlier one here and one here there are three overhead lights up there it's just a ceiling fan with the three lights and I use three of the same daylight balanced bulbs that I use in my Smith Victors and I have one light right there that sort of highlights the background a little bit. Watch this. You see that? Off, on. And that's just a, a clamp light like that. See there? And I just have white paper on it to kind of diffuse. Now, the reason I'm telling you that is when I, do, when I try these lights, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off every light that I use, all eight of them, and then turn back on my two Smith Victors, and that's it. So, so it's, that's not going to be an ideal lighting situation. I'm not going to change the settings on the camera, and it's, it's fixed focus right now, manual, and I have it fixed, so that you're going to actually be able to tell the difference between the lights that I'm using right now, which are 15.5 watt LED bulbs, which are equivalent to, I think, around 100 watts. And every light that I have on right now is a daylight bulb, or the white, not the yellow. So with that in mind, let me turn off all of the lights that I use right now except for these two lights right here. There we go. Lights are all off. I have my two Smith Victors, and as you can clearly see, everything's a little bit darker. <laughs> but the Smith Victors don't do a bad job. When I say Smith Victor, that's just the housing that's the, uh, the pan, you know, the outer pan in the light stands. But I've had those for a very, very long time, maybe somewhere in the 18 year range, 20 year range. And they've, they've served me OK. They've done fine. There's no adjustments to them whatsoever. What I'm going to do, take a good look at this. Woo! And I'm going to switch out these two lights and we're going to go through some settings with these two lights. Be right back. And there's just the newer lights. This, the only reason I left this out here so you could see what I'm using currently. This is that Smith Victor bowl I was telling you about. Now I'm gonna move this out of the way. And by the way, yeah, my diffuser here on the front with my little clothespins, you saw a picture earlier. That's just uh, like packing foam. You know, like when you're packing up your plates or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's all that is. I use paper, I use packing foam, whatever. Whatever's white, I use it. So anyway, this is both lights. Everything else is turned off. I mean, my kitchen light's on, but it's way over there. Everything else is turned off. This is simply, and I put them right back in the same spot where my other lights were. It's full blast on white, on daylight, on both of them. The yellow is turned completely off. So it gives a sort of a cooler, you know, wintry kind of look which is what I typically go for. That's why every, every bulb in my house essentially is a daylight bulb. So let me add to each light, I'm going to add the yellow at full blast. So the both lights will be as bright as they can possibly be with all 660 bulbs in each one right now. There it is. And I have to tell you, they're bright. I mean bright. And I have, <laughs> look at the shadows. And I have the, uh, the white diffusers in each one. So it kind of tones them down and kind of softens the shadows a bit. See this? See the radiance? <laughs> anyway, that's full brightness um, with mixed, with a, with a mix of the white and the yellow lights. And I mean each light is at full brightness, white and yellow. So let's turn all of the white off on both and just use yellow or daylight, uh, which is about 3200 degrees. And we'll do that right now. Ooh, ah, feel warm in here now. <laughs> it's, it's a lot warmer. You can tell everything has that sort of a yellow tint to it. 
which is which is good in some scenarios. I mean, if you're filming a romance scene or some kind of a dramatic setting, you kind of want it warmer. You want that warmer tone. You don't want it freezing cold like the uh, the daylight gives you. So th this is a good option, and it's still plenty bright enough. This is full brightness on both. Uh, just the yellow, just the tungsten, what they would used to call tungsten balanced for film, or the film was tungsten balanced. Uh, so that's it. That's, um, God, I, I may actually get another set and, and replace a couple of these other ones for a little bit of the backlight. And by the way, you can go pretty much anywhere in between on these as well. You can um, adjust up and down the intensity of light. So we can make it real dim. I mean, I can show you, I could actually, if let me just turn, I'm gonna turn this one off right here. There it is. <sighs> so much you can do with these. And I can even turn this down a little bit to really lighten the mood. <laughs> yeah, you don't want me to get into that, I promise you. Uh, okay, well, let me brighten things up just a bit, and I'll be right back. And there we are, back to normal again. Now, when I say normal, it's going to be my new normal. Um, I am, I've got my knee were light set up right here. My two Smith Victors are not on, as you can see. Um, well, that's one. The other one's right there, and it's not on. But I have all of the rest of the lights on. I have the ceiling lights on. I have the light behind me on the floor on. I have the one above my head. And I have my little... Uh, handy little backlight right there. So I'm content with that. I have half mast, half mast. So basically I have the white and the yellow and the white and the yellow right in the middle each. So they're not even at full brightness right now and I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. Uh, I have found my new lights. I'm happy to say I will be using these from now on. One thing I do want to do is I'm going to test. I'm going to shoot an indoor scene somewhere uh, with film because I shoot film. I, let's not get crazy. Everybody shoots video. We know that. Even the film guys will shoot some digital. So it's nice to see what they'll do with your, if you're a, if you're a YouTuber or TikTok or whatever you're on, it's nice to see what lights like this will do for you. I'm dying to see what they'll do for some Super 8 or some 16 millimeter. Really? We'll find out. Ooh shaking in my little space boots. And if you're interested in these lights, I do have an Amazon affiliate link down below in the description. Uh, it's an affiliate link is where I get a couple of dollars commission if you buy them when you click my link. That's all it is. You don't have to pay any more money, silly. I just get to keep producing videos because I make a couple of dollars on the sale. So check them out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love if you do me a favor. It's free, it's very easy, and it only takes a quarter of a second. I've timed it. Just hit the like button for me. Uh, it helps you remember if you've watched this video already. Sneaky, aren't I? Uh, and if you feel like I've earned it and you want to see some more zany content, some goofiness, uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification if you want to be alerted when I upload a new video. I have live streams coming very soon. I'm thinking Sundays might be my day. So keep an eye out or an ear out or something out for the live streams. And until the very next time that I see all of you stunning people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just coffee. There it is. Uh-oh. I'll see all of you on the very next go-around.